Hey, it's good to see you. We are back in Dollar Tree. Um, I came in here to get some stuff to make a wreath with. I'm not ready to do it yet. I actually had to order a hot glue gun, but I picked up a few more things to hopefully use on the wreath. Um, but while I was here, I thought we would take care of the soap. Somebody asked me to do this soap again, and you know what? Boy, that dove got obliterated. Look. Somebody must have been really dirty. They just came in here and bought everything. Gosh, didn't we just do this? Dang. I could do the deodorant too. It's pretty messed up as well. Look, it's just falling over dead. Look at that. Somebody, somebody stole one. No, I was going to say they stole one razor. No, they're all there. Jeez. Louise, this store is, ugh. Okay, well, let me come over here. I said I was going to do this stuff, didn't I? Yeah, I'm trying to. I, I've never actually made a wreath before. I've never, in all my 45 and a half years on this planet, I've never made a wreath. And as a woman in the South, that may be punishable by law. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe it is. So don't tell anybody, but I've never made a wreath before. I've never taken a class to make wreaths. I think that's also illegal in the South if you're female, but you have to do that. And I just have it. I don't know. It's just not something I ever thought about doing. But I'm going to make a wreath. Um when my hot glue gun gets here I ordered I've ordered it and um, it's not here yet but I've never even don't tell anybody this either I've never even used a hot glue gun in my whole life now I know that's like a, a class 3 felony if you're a female in the south you never even used a hot glue gun for a craft before my word you are you're going to hell for that it's just that's unacceptable right there. You, uh-uh, you can't do that in the South if you're a woman. I'm telling you, all the women in the South that I know do some sort of arts and crafts. Somebody on the other aisle even agreed with me. <laughs> no, she's on the phone. She's not, she's not talking to me. <laughs> it's noisy in here today. That one's messed. Did somebody use that? No, but it, it's like somebody took a shower real quick and stuck it back in there. All right. Sometimes I have to pause and get out of the way. I'm telling you, these videos may only be like 30 minutes long, but sometimes they can take 45 minutes or longer to make. Simply because you have to either get out of the way or wait for someone to stop being noisy or something all the time. That's part of life though. I mean, it's a, it's a retail establishment. They're not, they're not worrying about me. These are the single bars of Olay. This will always be all of Olay as far as I'm concerned. I guess they wanted to take the word oil out of it. I don't know. Okay. Dial Basics. Little three bar pack of those. Oop, I'm messing up my own little stuff. Oh gosh, where did it go? They're over there blowing up balloons, and there, there are a lot of people in here right now. There's my basket of stuff. This is, um, the eyeliner is not for the wreath. That's for me. <laughs> and I found a accounting sticker book. I want to do a video with that, too, at some point. Um, let's see. Which way are these going? We have the three-bar pack of Jergens soap. There's this one lady who works here. She's really nice, but she's super loud when she talks. And she talks a lot, so if you hear that, that's, that's this really nice lady up front. 
And she is. She's a sweetheart. turn that way so I'm gonna leave them that way. We can bring these up too. I tried the uh, dial with marula oil soap. Oh it's great. I really liked it. Yeah this one right here it's really great. It's actually not clear. I thought it was clear from the picture. It looked kind of like Neutrogena soap. Um, It's not clear. I mean I don't care. It doesn't matter but I think I said in a, a video that it was it looked like a clear bar of soap, but it's actually not. It's just kind of a an am, amber color. Gosh, they have a lot of this aloe flavor, don't they? up here. I had to pause for a good long while. This lady was having a shout conversation with her little dog, granddaughter. It was loud too. They were one whole aisle over and it was hurting my ears so it's a good thing I hit pause. Moisture blast. I mean, who wants to be blasted with moisture? That I don't like that word anyway. It sounds like somebody's gonna beat you to death with a Duncan Hines cake mix or something. you with a cactus. Lord, they're still here. Hold on. Okay. Zest. This is uh, Zest. Cocoa butter and shea. You only get two bars of this. There we go. I'll leave a little spot there. Lavender and Twilight She laughs like a witch. That's kind of funny, actually. I'm not even making fun. I think that's impressive. I wish I could do that. And this is Dial Gold. It is not the same as the Marula Oil. She does. She sounds like the Wicked Witch of the West. Um, you'll notice the Marula Oil package looks a little different. It's a darker color and it has a little flower on it. Oh, let's see. Marula oil. Boy, that's that's up there. They have a lot of this. rip that open. That didn't even pop open. Somebody rip that open. We'll stick it in the bag. These are little bitty bars, so you only get one for a dollar.
and this is um, just plain old ivory. These are four ounce bars, and you get two of these. There's really no good way to put those. <laughs> is there? But with the dove, you get the one, and it is two. It's only two point six ounces, and you only get one. in here the last time we were in here. But they do now. Yeah, they're just they're sideways, but I don't know any better way to do it. And then we have dial white. Goodness gracious, it's way up there. Hmm. That's tough. I don't even know how to straighten that all the way. It's like playing Jenga with multiple towers at the same time. And we even have Dial Spring Water. That's a pretty blue package there. One up top. And then fix the bag. And now we come down to this little shelf. We have Sugar Soap Works. And, okay, this is Oatmeal and Verbena. And we also have Oatmeal and Coconut Soap. These are big bars of soap, too. They are quite large. I used this soap once. I kind of didn't like the size of the bar, to be honest. It was too big. It was kind of unwieldy. <laughs> Let's see. Wait a minute. Oatmeal and coconut is down here, too. This is a 6.25 ounce bar. I mean, that's pretty big. Oh, it's just a, just a bit much. They have oatmeal and coconut and oatmeal and verbena. It's the only two they have of that one. One long bar of Irish Spring. Hmm. And then good old palm olive soap. Hmm. And it's packed in there, isn't it? You get three bars of this mild all family soap. They are each 3.2 ounces. It's pretty cool. And that's only a dollar. That's pretty great. I remember my grandmother telling me about her childhood. She was born back in the early 1900s and how they used to have to make soap and all the work it took to make soap. And I am so grateful that I live when I do and I don't have to go through what they had to go through to make soap. Oh my goodness. It sounded like, it was like an all day job. <laughs> it was very labor intensive to make. And you know, when she tells me about how they would wash clothes, how much work was involved just in washing clothes, that they had to make themselves. I am so grateful that I didn't grow up back then. We are lucky in ways that we may not think about every day, but we really are. This is some um, activated charcoal soap from Yardley. And we also have, of course, English lavender soap. Yeah. Activated charcoal. And over here we have Sh uh, Yardley Shea Buttermilk Soap. And Oatmeal and Almond Soap. Oops.
Oh, there's some more down here. I'll just um, try to slide it over a little bit. This has a dollar off coupon inside. Well, it only costs a dollar, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay. Well, that looks better, I think. It's better than it was. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Ta da! <laughs> what about the liquid hand soap? We have a lot of this Jergens over here. These are seven and a half ounce bottles of soap. They have them lined up back here. They turn them sideways so they don't fall down behind the shelf. I've learned the hard way that Sunday afternoon is not a good time at Dollar Tree. Okay, you know what I found? People come in here and, well, on this side anyway, they'll come in here and they'll just stand and just stare at stuff for an uncomfortably long period of time, which is totally their right, of course. They're customers, but they just come in here and stare at stuff. Like, just individual people. I, I bet I've had 15 people come through here. I have had to stop so many times to get out of the way because people want to come in and stare at stuff. And they don't even buy anything. They just stare at it for a long time and then they just wander off. You think I look weird in here? You should see all the people that come in here and they don't even pick anything up. They just They just stand here and just stare at it. For, I'm talking like 10 minutes straight and then they just walk away. There's not that much of a selection here. <laughs> it's not like the choices are that overwhelming. But it's like they come in here and their minds are just blown and like they just can't even buy anything. They're so blown away. <laughs> they are rendered speechless by the soap and over-the-counter medication selection. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand these people. This is one of my favorite soaps in here, the Crisp Cucumber and Melon. It smells so good. They always have a lot of this soothing aloe vera. They must sell a lot of this stuff. They always have a bunch of it. Now over here we have th two random flavors. We have black raspberry and vanilla. And there's only one bottle of this. I've had plenty of time to look. <laughs> There's just the one. <laughs> and we have Irish Spring flavored hand soap. And there are two bottles of that. They're both by Soft Soap. But there's nowhere to put these. <laughs> like nowhere. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with them. I'm just going to stick them up here. Although I kind of want to keep them with the Soft Soap. For some reason, when these when you just glance at these bottles, they look like little penguins. <laughs> to me, they do anyway. How about this? I know that's soothing aloe vera, but what if we just use this space for that one? We'll do this one and these right there. Uh oh, well, that may not work. These bottles appear to be a little bit wider. Okay, well, uh, maybe this will work out better. We'll move the Jergens over. Oops, I killed one. Well, that's only gonna make room for one of them, but. But that one there, that's not gonna help anything, is it? No. I just did absolutely nothing helpful. Okay, well. We have soft soap, fresh breeze here. We'll just do one row of that. And then we have the fish soap. I don't even know who makes this. I don't think it's soft soap. It's fish flavored. We'll put it there. Okay. And these are refills. You can get these gigantic refills. Like you can get the apple. You get a 15 ounce bottle and then you can get a 23 ounce refill for only a dollar. And here they have the Dial Himalayan Salt hand wash.
I haven't tried it yet. I keep meaning to. And then they have coconut water and mango. These are all seven and a half ounces. I bet that one smells good. And no, nobody stops and asks what I'm doing. Nobody tells me to quit. I think the employees have gotten used to me. They don't, they don't care. They genuinely don't care. On Sundays, apparently, people just come in here to stare at stuff. They're not staring at me. They're just staring at the merchandise. They're just mesmerized by it or something. I don't know. What it is, they legitimately will just come in here and stare. There's a man sit over here and stared at the cotton balls for at least five minutes. Now what is there to choose from? You have cotton balls and then you have cotton balls. If you need cotton balls, here they are. Just get you some. <laughs> what, what, what is there to think about? I don't, I don't understand. And we have the crisp cucumber and melon refill down here. I would move it up there with the, the, the pump bottles, but there's a lot of it, so I'm not going to. I'm not getting paid to do this. There's only so far I'm willing to go with it. And we have a short hand soap. There's that poor dented bottle of soft soap. I just don't think this is ever going to sell. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to buy this. This bottle has been here, I swear, for six months at least. Here's another Himalayan salt. Chlorin Danver. This is very delicious flavor. Some more vanilla honey. It's just extra space down here. You have these gigantic spa soap refills. Gigantic. Okay. More chlorine Danver. Who? <laughs> that was cool. That was nice. That was a workout. I know it sounds funny, but I get a little sweaty when I do this. I don't know why. I've never figured that out, but I do. It's not because I'm nervous or anything. It's actually kind of work, especially when you get down there. Because I'm doing it all one-handed, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, there's that. I'm going to do a quick dash through the deodorant sticks here. These are power stick, and we have the dial roll-on. Roll-on is actually not that a pop, that, not that popular in the USA anymore. It used to be back in the 80s, but not so much anymore. You don't see it that often anymore. Get up here, you fake Vicks Vapo Rub. Vicks Vapo Rub was in, invented in Greensboro. I just messed it up. It was. These fall over very easily. It's kind of like setting up dominoes. You have to be really careful handling it because they topple. And if you knock over one, you're going to knock over about 20. <laughs> mm. Secret. Solid. Powder fresh flavor.
These are okay. They're all powder fresh. It's easy to get powder fresh and shower fresh mixed up because from the top they look the same. Those are all powder fresh and these are shower fresh right here. We don't have many of those. There. How's that? Brute over there. Arm and Hammer Ultra Max Fresh Scent Speed Stick. This is Avalanche flavored. Tastes like death. Suffocation. Despair. Terror. These are all fresh scent. These are only one ounce containers of deodorant. But it, it looks like more than it actually is. But it's only a dollar, so. Okay. Arid Extra Dry. Regular flavor. It's a running joke. I know it's not a flavor. Calm down. Don't eat deodorant. Even if it looks delicious, don't do it. It's not good for you. Where did you come from? Oh god. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have time to get into all of this. Because it is just a nightmare down there. I mean, look. Ooh. No. I don't have time today. Sorry. I only came in here to get stuff for a wreath. Yeah, we're going to be making the wreath together. We're going to be making a fall wreath. But I believe I'm going to need a hot glue gun to do it. So I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. I don't have it yet. That container looks different. Wow. What do we have here? We have Lady Speed Stick Invisible Dry. a big fan of this stuff. I've mentioned that before, I know. I bought it once. I think I got the powder. What is this? Wild, no, there's Wild Freesia. Oh, there is, these are two different flavors mixed together. There's Shower Fresh. This is Wild Freesia. This is Shower Fresh. They have, they're mixed up. They are actually not the same. These are Wild Freesia. Wild Freesia. There's a Shower Fresh. I think Shower Fresh is what I tried. It was awful. It didn't work. And it says it doesn't leave white marks. Oh, it totally does. They are lying to you. It leaves marks all over your clothes. So I went back to the... I think I'm using Degree now. I don't remember. I don't know. I switch around a lot. Okay, invisible dry powder fresh scent. And power stick and suave powder scent. What we can do with these. Okay. Ooh. Alright, we're going to do the Gillette Endurance and then I've got to go. Cool Wave flavored. Oops. They're a little too wide, aren't they? A little wide. I don't think I've seen this one here before. I, 
I can do a cool wave. I have a parade wave. I've been in several parades actually. One of my exes had a job that um, required a presence in the public and they were in parades frequently. And sometimes I would accompany them in the parade and I got really good at my parade wave. I can do a cool wave, check it out. Probably won't keep you from sweating though. Okay, so anyway, just focus on the top. That looks much better. And then this section looks much better. And you swoop over here and the hand soap is lovely for the most part. And the bar soap, oops, somebody bought some marula oil. See, we sold one already. There we have it. Much prettier than it was. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you again really soon.